and welcome to Zach's Fitness Studio. Guys, what I'm introducing you to here is one of my young clients is participating in a basketball program at his school. Okay? And what I have done, I have taken some of his uh, drills from the basketball and I then honed in on those drills, having to practice those drills because that's the only way that they can hone in on their skills is by through practice. But what I'm doing here, I'm making sure that he works for balance. So whatever his dominant side is on these various drills, I make sure that he's also using the non-dominant side for the same uh, uh, movements, okay? Very important. In addition to that, I'm also trying to coordinate his explosive powers uh, as far as his vertical jump and his, and his torso rotation. So I want you just to sit back and check out some of these clips uh, that I have taken of this young man and enjoy, okay? This is one of the drills that he does, and what it requires is a lot of practice, a lot of hand coordination and speed, and this is forms in his high school drills on the program at the high school. On the spider drill, this is one of the drills that he does. And what it requires is a lot of practice, a lot of hand coordination and speed. And this is one of the things that he performs in his high school drills on the program. At this the high too, school. guys, is one of the drills that they perform for control over the ball. And lots of coordination, quickness, speed. And remember, guys, this here requires a lot of practice, day on end of practice. Now, here he's doing the vertical jump and he's keep on practicing the vertical jump and he starts with one lead leg there you go and Kendall switch off to the other lead leg the other hand trying to create balance so we just move to the other side this is one of the methods that I use when I'm dealing with athletes is that I have them perform the same movement on their non-dominant side just to work for balance. And start back all the way behind your head. This is one of the drills with the medicine ball. Lots of force Kindle from the belly using the legs nice but all the way behind your head this is one of the drills with the medicine ball lots of force Kindle from the belly using the legs nice this here drill I have him reaching way behind his head bringing his triceps into play as he comes up and forward using shoulders, back, chest, and arms, and a little extra push from the legs. Harder, Kendall. That's it. Come on with it. And guys, these drills that I'm doing is by the seconds. I don't necessarily count the reps when he's doing these drills. Slam it hard. Come on, rotate all the way through. There you go. And these are called lot side lateral toss with the medicine ball. Really slamming it. Using the entire core region, hips and legs, 
arms and shoulders and back and guys of course whatever he do to one side he'll do to the other side but just for camera purposes we're just going to be demonstrating one side here nice and hard Kendall good job here I have Kendall doing squats what's important here guys is that he get that 90 degree angle in the hips and in the knee joint and notice the ankle flexion keep your abs nice and tight Kendall and he's doing this here against the stability ball so the ball is against the wall and his back is against the ball concentrating concentrating there you go Again. Now you're going to intensify it by raising your arms when you go down. Intensify it by raising your arms when you go down. There you go. Intensify it. There you go again. Intensify it. And guys, you can take various angles using the upper limbs to help intensify it. You can even put objects in the hands to make it more intense. Again, we go by time here. We're not thinking about any numbers. We think about quality movements. Good job, Kendall. This is called a chest pass. Right to the chest. Right to the chest. All right, Kendall, I want you to use the other hand. Get the other, that's the dominant side. Use the other side. Push. There you go. Push. Give me about four of them in a row. Come on, to the chest. You're going high again. To the chest. Give me some good video here. There you go. To the chest. Hard. Right, you getting tired? Huh? Yeah, he getting tired. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. To the waist. To the shoulders. Overhead. Back to the shoulders. Back to the waist. Back to the ankles. And guys, this is one of my staple moves that I use for young as well as old athletes alike. It's a combination move. It's a good full body movement. And as you can see here, Kendall's focusing, getting some leg action, shoulder and chest action, back and of course abs keep it working press it up nice keep it working and again guys we're still on the same sequence we're not doing these here by the numbers but we're doing this by the time good job all right here you see Kendo is doing a total gym pull up really coming to the top of the movement squeezing that back coming to the top of the movement squeezing that back keep your head straight Kendo you don't want to twist your vertebrae at all you want to maintain control throughout the movement really going down and elongate that back stay strong for me really going down and elongating that back squeezing at the top elongation Squeeze it at the top. Again, guys, we're not counting numbers. Come on, you got to stay strong. I know you're getting fatigued, but stay focused. Stay strong. Good job. Again. Now I have him doing pec deck flies. Really concentrating on the outward stretch of the chest. As he comes forward, he's squeezing that chest. He's on the hard body machine. And he's doing a pec deck fly. Keep it working, Kendall. Keep it working. I gave him a weight that's going to really challenge him through this series. Come on, keep focusing. Come on, keep focusing. Now here you see I have Kendall doing jump rope. He's really focusing on his technique. Squeezing. Them abs with every jump. 
Nice rotation. Again, guys, we're doing this by time and not by numbers. Great, great form of cardiovascular here. Good work. Now here we have Kendall working the battle rope. And again, guys, the way I have the client handle the battle rope is for 30 seconds, then 45 seconds, then one minute, with 15 seconds in between for rest. Keep it working. Come on, you gotta stay strong with the movement, Kendall. Stay focused. Keep your head straight ahead. Work with it. Work with it. Come on. That's it. Don't give in. Don't give up. Good job. Come on. Good job. Now we have Kendall forming a stretch for his back, shoulders, and arms. And breathe as you stretch, Kendall. Breathe as you stretch. Good stretch. Keep it holding. Keep it holding. Let that back stretch out. Breathe as you stretch. Breathe into the stretch. Very good. You're holding that for about 30 minutes.